These things were the last of their kind. At one time, there were over 9,000 blockbusters worldwide. But as of 2019, there's just one in Bend, Oregon. Welcome to Blockbuster. This is it. This is our, our final stand. Sandy Harding proudly remains at the helm. I always laugh because people come in and say, oh my gosh, it still looks like a Blockbuster. And I'm like, well, of course it does. We are Blockbuster. And tourists flock to this last remaining store. We couldn't come to Bend and not go to the last Blockbuster mm -hmm. on Earth. It brings back a lot of memories. Yeah, kind of grew up going to Blockbuster. It just reminds me of when my kids are little. We just love coming in here. So will there be a happily ever after for this last Blockbuster on Earth? I would love to say we're going to be here forever, but sadly, I think that there probably will be, you know, a last day at some point, um, not anywhere in the near future. In April of 2022, it was the end of the road for this Kmart in New Jersey that closed permanently. Now, only three Kmarts remain in the U.S., in New Jersey, New York, and Florida. There are only a handful of these stores left, and I suspect within months, the whole enterprise will disappear completely. Everything was up for grabs for a reduced price, even the mannequins, cash machines, and exit signs. It's just sad. This used to be a real part of America, Americana, and it's gone away. I find it sad. People that are losing their jobs, I find it sad. Kmart once employed over 300,000 people in its 2,440 stores, but mismanagement, falling sales, changes in shopping habits, and competitors like Walmart and Target became too much to handle. Uh, Kmart is a victim of serial incompetence with regard to its historical leadership. It's had a variety of folks running the business who uh, were either not paying much attention to competition or attempting to do things which uh, frankly resulted in uh, the ultimate train wreck, which is bankruptcy. Gone are the days of the mighty Kmart. And these just dotted the American landscape over the years. They still dot the American landscape, but as carcasses, as closed carcasses. Brittany and her mom, Denise Corliss, were part of the Texas Task Force One to find and save people trapped in the World Trade Center after the 9-11 attacks. In 2015, Brittany was the last known living search and rescue dog who worked at Ground Zero. We were there to try to find survivors, and when our task force arrived in Ground Zero, I just couldn't believe the magnitude of it. And then I looked down to her, and she seemed stoked and ready to work. To honor Brittany and Denise's heroic efforts, and to celebrate the pup's 16th birthday, they returned to New York City for an over-the-top celebration. We're so thrilled to have you here at One Hotel Central Park, and we are even more excited to have Brittany as our first pup of honor here. <laughs> she got a luxurious dog hotel room complete with room service, a vintage New York taxi ride, and a billboard honor in Times Square. <laughs> It was touching to see Brittany get the day she deserves for all her heroic efforts. The brave canine died in 2016. Oh. There it goes, the last freestanding phone booth in New York City. In May of 2022, workers hauled away the telephones and it was truly an end of an era. All right, I'll be coming about an hour. No. Sorry, Superman. Now Clark Kent needs to find another place to change clothes. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.